Okay, everything's off. Uh, this is what we ended up with. Uh, smells pretty good. My wife is already in the other room. Throwing down. Uh, her review said it has a little sweetness to it and a little spiciness to it. Uh, it cooked down very nicely. I'm getting ready to do my part. Um, my wife, let's get let's get some of that brisket. Um, she likes hers with the with the cheese and the sour cream. Right now, I just want to see what it's like without any added. So. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can't taste the sweetness. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's definitely got some spice to it. And I actually tried to tone that down a little bit. Let's see. Mm hmm. Okay. Considering this is my first time cooking with brisket and chili, I'm good with this. I didn't put the hot beans in, regular regular kidney beans, half a poblano. Uh, in terms of spice, about that and the uh, killer hogs. Hot rub. Very happy. I am good with that. Real quick, take a walk with me. I wanted to point. Excuse the garage because this is a mess. Uh, wanted to check. Let's see. Kong is doing and there we have it right at 300 290 this is after four, about five and a half hours with the top vent open on one and I want to try to get a little brief that's the that's the venting that's how much uh, how much that is cracked open to allow air in um, as I said, this thing is hot. Real quick, show you now. This is full open. Sucker gets hot. You know, I don't want to touch it because it's hot. Uh, that's open, 100%, all the way. And I've got it right around that number, that first uh, first setting. If I can get it back, I need to oil it. And I'm sure I will hit it with some WD-40 or something. That's where it will, where it was. Let's see. Yeah, definitely recovery at 300 degrees. And here's your bottom vent, which is actually that's pretty substantial. Uh, the review for me is just uh, happy with the purchase. Let's see what we got here. Not much to see. Uh, let's see. They burned down pretty well. This thing, and of course, the ceramic body retains heat such a so efficiently that you know, even though you may have burned down most of your coals, uh, man, it's still warm enough to actually cook some things. So very happy for the first cook. Food came, yeah, came out very well. Uh, wife was really uh, impressed with the chicken wings, considering I did not marinate them. That was nothing but killer hogs, um, hot rub, uh, rubbed them down, not even rubbed, just sprinkled them on, put them in the refrigerator for about two hours. And um, I, I have to admit, I checked one myself and it came out very well. We usually marinate overnight. Um, but man, I see in a in a pinch, 
I can throw that hot rub or a regular rub or any rub I want. Just let it sit there for two hours. And uh, it provides some substantial flavor. What impressed me the most, and actually my wife brought this up, even with the diffuser plate, running the temp at 300, 350, right in between there, the chicken was real, the skin was really crispy. She and the interior or the inside was still moist and juicy. So she was happy with that. Uh, next cook for me, and I'm going to review some videos this evening, is getting this thing locked in at 225, 250 degrees for a long and slow cook. That's the next, uh, the next task for me. Um, I know I had the vents closed quite considerably, and so my first thought is I need to light uh, less less charcoal. I've watched some videos. People tend to light these things uh, in the actual chamber. I'm wondering if I set this up. Uh, kind of a variation of the minion method get my um, let's see the uh, smaller Weber rapid fire uh, where it is it's in there somewhere along with my other hardware uh, <coughs> excuse me and use a very small minute amount of uh, charcoal light it and then dump into the center and see how that works. I've never seen a video where anyone's done that. I don't think it'll harm anything. Uh, I usually light my uh, Oklahoma Joe. So that'll be next. That's the next experiment I'm going to try. Uh, line it up. Get this uh, Jealous Devil in. Uh, a nice base layer of charcoal. Just a few pieces of this Jealous Devil get them lit in the um, chimney starter then dump them in the center of uh, the Kamado then uh, starting off with the vents mm, at that less than I'm going to say half of a one hat on both top and bottom and see what that does so I'm getting ahead of myself it's time to go eat um, first time using brown sugar in a chili uh, I, I kind of liked it. I'm not going to lie. And it makes me feel good to know now I can use them leftovers. So with that, very happy first go around. Um, got some people coming in this weekend that I haven't seen in a while. My son, my granddaughter, hopefully uh, my, my daughter-in-law and my grandson. Um, so I plan on doing some chicken wings, mm, loaded baked potato. I have a new recipe I want to try. And uh, my thought was to do the wings on the Vortex on the Weber kettle. Um, I will do that if I decide to do some ribs on the uh, call, which is kind of what I'm leaning toward. Um, the, the wings get done quicker on the Vortex, so that's what I'm kind of thinking. So once again, uh, I was going to just close these off and let this thing shut down. But at this point, I'm just going to let them burn out. I'll let it go overnight. And in the morning before I go to work, because I'm usually up at 5, come out, check it, cover it. And then when I get home tomorrow, clean it out. Uh, I've already hit the grates. So, like I said, look, this very happy. 300 degrees, and here it is. Man, it's almost 6, six o'clock. Uh, come in, clean her up. And, uh... Getting ready for the next cook. So, once again, very happy, very impressed uh, for the money. Excellent buy. Um, cannot complain. Uh, looking forward to many, many more uh, good cooks. Just got to learn to tweak it. So, I'm out of here and it's time to eat.